But it is true that I think rabbinic law can change. I do believe that. As for Torah law, <clears throat> for example, I don't smoke my pipe or cigar, which I do every day of the week. I don't do it on, on Shabbat because it says do not uh, burn a fire. a fire on the Sabbath. So I just want to make that clear. Right. I take this stuff very seriously. You see, Abutai, he thinks he's Mr. Morals. He thinks that the sages are wrong and he's right. And little by little, that has mutated into a monster. How big of a monster? If you combine all of the wicked people that we've highlighted and have exposed over the years, you combine them all into one, he is much bigger than all of them combined. I love that he has a specific understanding of exactly how big a monster is. Is he this big? Is he that big? He understands the landscape of reality, and he is here to tell you exactly who is a sinner to what extent. Not that there are things that go on behind closed doors. Not that you never really know what's going on. Not that there are a bunch of Talmudic teachings that the way we think we understand things down here is not what's going on in heaven. No, no, no. no. He is here to tell you exactly who's going where after they die, who's a sinner, not just that, to which extent they're a sinner, how many sinners he's equal to. It's great that he has everything so down pat. Another time. You see, Dennis says that since he's Avi Avoto Tuma, he's the father of all Tuma of this generation, now he can do whatever he wants, such as make new rules. Like, if you don't eat bacon, you keep kosher, according to Dennis. That's not a rule. Then it's not giving a rule. He's giving an interpretation and an understanding about things. Meaning, he says that because if you don't give a lot of tzedakah, that doesn't mean you don't give tzedakah. You give tzedakah, you're just not a lot. If you, just, if you don't give the whole masel, then, you know, and you only give, let's say, 5% instead of 10%, we don't call you someone that doesn't give tzedakah. So the same thing, if you don't eat pig, we can't say you don't eat kosher. You eat kosher just less than everybody else valid point there are people who say they keep halacha and obviously they don't keep everything everyone's a sinner to some extent more or less but we still say they keep it and they keep it generally is used to say they value it they think it's of importance and they're working towards it i think that's the way we use the term i'm not 100 percent sure but the fact that you're not 100 percent there that sounds valid to me it doesn't mean that you don't keep anything this is as demented as some of the other things that he says we say people are shomer Torah mitzvot. It means that they value it and they're working towards it. I think that's what it means. I don't know. If anyone has a different interpretation, feel free to comment below.